My name is Natalie and I'm doing my Masters in Microbiology at the University of Otago. My research focuses on drug resistance and tuberculosis. I'm trying to find new ways to repurpose old drugs to create better treatment regimens. I first started off just doing biology and I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew I always liked science, but I didn't know what I wanted to specialise in. I started off doing some labs in microbiology and I was really interested in it. So we require our first year students to take three core papers which are also in the curriculum of health sciences. In addition to that, students can cho choose four additional papers, either complementary to their interest, to, to their program, or for papers that are just of their own interest. I really enjoyed undergrad at Otago. The microbiology papers and lab work are really interesting. There was one lab in second year where you get to take swabs from your body and you try to identify what bacteria come from it. I found that really interesting as we use like state-of-the-art technologies to be able to identify these bacteria. So what we want to do with the first year students, we want to bring them all to the same level. So we want to teach them the world of microbes. We want to teach them how virulence and disease works and provide the fundamentals of immunology and the immune system. The students looking into wanting to do microbiology is don't be scared of any chemistry or maths. There's plenty of people that help you out and you learn as you go. Also, microbiology is a really good fundamental for heaps of other sciences that you might want to pursue. So the way the students are assessed is, at the, is either internally, practically, or with a bulk assessment at the, as an end of the semester examination. I found that the microbiology department was really supportive and diverse. There's heaps of people around to help you and you can never be afraid to ask any questions. So in the microbiology department, we are like a huge family. So although you have your own lab, um, there's, there's still multiple labs on each floor which allows students and also the PIs to interact with the students and to, to participate in their experiments. We also share lots of equipment throughout the department, which allows you to go from one floor to another and then have something that we call um, interfloor mingling. Currently, we have about 50 domestic and international um, postgraduate students. So that means that when you get into the department, into the department you're also getting exposed to, a lo to lots of different um, cultures. The community in the microbiology department are really supportive and helpful. I've had such a great experience with my undergrad classes. I have a really helpful supervisor and also co-supervisor who are there when I need anything. I've also found that my classmates have been really helpful. I've made some friends that I'll cherish forever and I still keep in contact with them now. So in terms of job opportunities, uh, microbiology and, and, and immunology is a very broad field so that allows you to go into, re into basic research, into agriculture, into healthcare, or even into biotechnology. We have currently students that are all over the world. We have a recent honor student that just got um, admitted to grad school at an Ivy League university in the United States. We have a post-PhD graduate student who is actively working on the coronavirus in Japan. So we have also lots of students that stay in New Zealand and work for Fonterra Egg Research or even join the government. So for example, one of our recent graduates joined the government and is currently the, the chief advisor for the Ministry of Health's COVID-19 response. She's only 25 years old. That's very impressive. 